-hmm. So uh, they got to see just a little bit uh, of a glimpse of the, the custom uh, the custom suit experience. I so like it. Hope to have them back for more. Uh, you know, would love to, you know, talk with any of them about, you know, the, the business, being an entrepreneur, mm. uh, whatever insight I can provide. For uh, sure. Yep. And then I, and I also want to just say this, because we were talking about it before off cam, but just talking about how being at, at Camp Exposure and then like go, going through that process of where, you know, you, you, you all collaborated with the suits mm -hmm. and you also got to do some education because mm -hmm. for me, and I learned this later, right? I still, in my closet, I still have like some, some 44 longs yeah. and yeah. some 42 longs yeah. and they don't fit. Yeah. Because I, I went in and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm tall, I'm mm -hmm. long, long, so this yep. is what I'm gonna get. Yep. And then later to realize that it's not supposed to fit mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> so, you know, just having an opportunity for, for you, you know, the, 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 the proprietor of this business and, you know, you being able to show them, educate, mm -hmm. that, that, that's a big deal at this age. Yeah, the educational piece, um, you know, it was when they, when they walked into our inventory or saw our inventory, uh, you know, so you may have a, a young man who's 5'10", mm -hmm. you know, 180, uh -huh. he saw a pattern that he liked, but that pattern was a 44 long. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, eh, this, I cannot make this happen for you. But here's why. Mm -hmm. There's only mm -hmm. so much allowance of fabric in the room, blah, blah, blah. If we try to condense it too much, it'll compromise the look of the chair. So I was able to share that, uh, share some of that with them. And they were like, okay. So they, uh, they ended up finding things that were either close to their size uh -huh. or more spot on. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. So, so with you now being Mr. Reveal Suits. Oh man. Right? And you, you, and you, you, you were sharing with me like how, how long the process took, mm -hmm. but like how, how, how did we get here? Cause you, you know, for, former, for, former, former Hooper, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you said you went to Lincoln. I did. Right. And Lincoln was known for basketball. Oh, Lincoln man. is known for basketball. A couple state championships. Yeah. Yes sir. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Indeed. Link, you know, Link, Lincoln is Lincoln. Lincoln you know? is Lincoln. Yeah. Lincoln yep. is Lincoln. And then, and then we, and then we get, then we get to UT. Mm -hmm. But like, t t just just talk with us a little bit through how how we got here from not knowing about 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 this business just yet. Yeah, um, I'll even started back just kind of when I was at UT. So I was I was always that student athlete that would, you know, I wanted to know about um, I wanted to know about marketing. I wanted mm -hmm. to know about how they were promoting our games. I wanted to know about um, you know just everything that came along with the business side oh, you know what was okay. the community service piece of it and how were we attracting local austin kids to fill the arenas and like i was i was that student athlete right? wow okay um <laughs> and so i've always been interested in um in business aspects in some type of way right mm. um, and so with that in mind I ultimately became a high school athletic director uh, north dallas high school uh, here in dallas and that was where the vision was formed, uh, watching young men on NBA, NFL draft nights, you know, kind of getting creative with their suits, right? Mm -hmm. But a few of them started doing some things, uh, you know, creative on the inside, putting pictures of their family, their native country flag on the inside, uh -huh. whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. And then a couple of guys, Marcus Smart most notably, uh, he paid tribute to his school on, in, on his inner lining. And I was like, oh, that was kind of cool. Uh, school representation with a suit. And then I saw a couple more guys do it later. And I was like, wait, we all have polos and t-shirts and caps with either with our alma mater or our favorite team, whatever. I got Longhorn polos out of this world, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I was like, wait, the suit thing, I wonder. Mm. And that's where, I remember telling my wife, I was just like, somebody's probably doing it Somebody, this product probably exists. I'm probably getting excited for nothing. Um, but after doing some research, some consistent research, uh, saw that the product wasn't out there, kind of got some early feedback from some people. Hey, it's, hmm. it's kind of what I'm thinking. I have no idea how to design a suit at all. But, really? Okay. Oh no, I wasn't a fashion guy, man. I'm a, I, I was a hooper, man. I'm, I'm shorts and flip flops and, you know, by, by nature, but I saw, uh, I saw a potential product that wasn't being done. And so I had to, I had to go for it and believed in it enough so much to the fact that uh, I decided to resign as an athletic director, Man. which was my dream job. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, but I just knew in my gut, I was just like, there is something here. 
there's something here. So now I got to teach myself about fashion. I got to see how I'm supposed to get these marks. And my UT people don't get mad, but this is my Arkansas Razorback collection. Uh, the older UT folks, that was a big rivalry. So no, no harm meant, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, had to learn how do we get these marks? How do I get approved mm. to get this mark inside okay. my suit? I don't know how to do that. Got to call the NCAA and find out. I mean, so it was just a lot of, I had to teach myself a lot. Man. Yeah, uh, but that's where the competitor comes in. You know, I'm still, I still play ball, still hate to lose. Uh, and so I had that same energy here. It's just like, I'm on to it, I'm on to it. Now I can't lose, can't lose. I might get scored on, you know, a little bit along the way.